Hi guys, this is Saturday, July the 1st, 2017, and this is MAIL CALL! <laughs> Damn. Anyway, it is Saturday, July the 1st, 2017 at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's a little warm and humid outside, a little overcast, but overall not a bad day in Central Texas, USA. And the mail has been a little slim lately, a little slim. For two days we didn't get any, and today we got one. <laughs> one. Anyway, this is from, well, I hate to mention names. Well, first name, Stephen, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, he's got a little smiley face on the card and a forever stamp. Mailed on June the 28th. Yeah, that's not bad. From all the way from Tennessee to here. But anyway. <clears throat> inside, he's got a couple of little blank sheets. But there was a reason for that. And then he's got, inside of this, is a letter. Handwritten. With a smiley face on the bottom. But it's handwritten. Or hand printed. That's the way I do it. I don't do cursive anymore. I do. I just print. If you try to read my cursive writing, you better be a code breaker from the military. Okay. But anyway, this letter starts off very good. It says, Hi, Rusty. I hope you can read this because I sure the heck can't. My teachers always said I write like a doctor, then laughed, and now I can understand why. I'm sending President Andrew Jackson to give you... old rusty my oh my pat on the back well here uh, he was almost replaced by the last administration by Harriet Tubman because of being a slaveholder but now he's saved by President Trump also sending the White House a pat on the back for the best vacation in four states ever <laughs> you enjoyed that huh well I did too it's a, it, yeah, it's kind of hard work, actually, but it, I enjoy it. I don't know why. I get a lot out of it. I, I, it, I don't know. It says, I'm sending Abe Lincoln, not one of my favorites, since his army burned and pillaged our state in 1863. And I hope this letter makes mail call because I would like to say hi to you and all of Rusty's Rangers. Well, uh, Clint, or Stephen, Stephen, rather, Stephen says... Stephen says hi to all the Texas Ra Texas Rangers, Rusty's Rangers. Whoa. Uh, anyway, uh, da, 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 no, the best the best group on the internet, the net. Keep being great, Rusty. P.S. I know. I, P.S. He says I knew Matilda would would sack air as soon as you as soon as your back was turned. Well. You were right. She was a trashy woman from the beginning, and she left as soon as I left. So that tells you something, doesn't it? Anyway, the reason we're talking about Matilda is Matilda was my garbage can, and I named, I named my garbage can Matilda. Why? Because of a song in Australia called Waltzing Matilda. And Matilda is actually a bag or your stuff that you're carrying, but anyway, I won't get into all that. But anyway... Thank you very much, Stephen from Tennessee. I appreciate the pat on the back and the pat on the White House back. I do because the White House is, is being remodeled as we speak. <clears throat> In fact, today I went to Lowe's Hardware and had them cut me some material, some plywood, because I don't have a saw of any kind. So they had to cut it. And I got it, I got it cut the way I wanted and I got back home and then I realized it was about that much too long. However, it's better that it was that much too long than that much too short. Because there is no such thing as a board stretcher. Okay? You can cut it off more. You know, that's why the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Very true. But anyway, this letter was an ordinary letter until this moment. And now it becomes a letter in the bucket of honor. There is the bucket of honor. It's getting full, as you can see, one letter at a time. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? 
So anyway, thank you. And this letter goes right in here with all the other honored guests. And there's a lot of them, man. A lot. Here. And this is, I've got another bucket full. I mean, I can't even cram anything more in it. But this is the, this is, this used to be just a regular Bud, Bud Light canned ice down beer, but it's been promoted to the Bucket of Honor here on this channel. And what else is going on? Uh, I was talking about the White House and uh, the remodeling that's going on and the board that was cut. Well, actually, what happened was I didn't allow for one little thing at the back of my pickup to get the plywood to go all the way over against the side. You got to cut a little more. I could have cut a little indentation and made it work. Didn't want to do that. So I just cut the whole thing a little shorter. But anyway, July the 4th is upon us soon. People are already popping firecrackers all around here at night. I guess they can do that wherever you are. And uh, but anyway, July the 4th, you know, big day, big day. You know, it's a, you know, little events like that are okay. I mean, you know, you got to every country has them. Every country has them. Every 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 country has these special events to celebrate their something, independence or I don't know that anyone ever celebrates being enslaved. Maybe they do. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me now. But what else is going on? That's it, guys. So anyway, from Central Texas, USA, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 USA, made when you can drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day, will not hurt you. You may pee like a racehorse or two or three, two or three peckered possum, but you will feel a hell of a lot better. So take deep breaths in through your nose, thousand and one count, and then breathe out through your mouth. That relieves stress and that reduces your blood pressure. So that's good for you. It'll help you live a little longer. And that reason we want to live longer so we can go on some more trips and do some stuff and enjoy our life and our family and friends and all that good stuff. So having said that guys, adios from Central Texas, USA to every one of you or bye bye.